God for the child. The word pleaded is the word bakash, and it means to strive towards. In other words, David, with all of his might now, his passion is being all about begging God. And David fasted, and he went in all and lay all night on the ground. So the elders of the house arose and went to him to raise him up from the ground, but he would not, nor did he eat with them. There comes a place when we are actually nailed in our sin where we become impervious to any human consolation and the only comfort we can find is in God and God will allow that. But there becomes an issue we need to recognize here. There is a huge difference between hating the sin and hating the consequence. And it is important to note If you hate the consequence, I mean, you should because it's usually awful. The moment it lessens, you'll run back to the sin. But if you hate the sin, you'll do what is necessary to not get to it again. I knew a guy that had been arrested 11 different times for driving under the influence. And each time the consequences got more grave, of course, it cost him more and so forth. After a while, of course, he wound up driving without a license because they took it from him. But that 11th time, he nearly killed someone. And that really startled him and it freaked him out. But did he hate drinking and driving? Well, what would you do if you wanted to completely remove the possibility of that sin? Well, you can make two choices, never drive again or never drink again. Or if you don't do both, It's not possible either. The guy was like, well, I understand I'm not trying to be a legalist, but for this guy, he needed to stay away because he couldn't, the guy couldn't have a drink without making it 20. And and he's like, well, you know, I'm just going to, I'll drive on certain days, I'll drink on certain other days. But of course, you know that it's not going to work out. So the next time, he wound up killing someone. The problem was is that the consequences got more grave, more grave, sorry. But he never hated the sin. He just hated the consequences. And when you are in a place like this with David, David's consequences are pretty, well, they're literally grave. He has a child who's going to die, and God promised him that. And David is pleading with God. The question is, if God says no to your pleas, do you worship him anyways? Is he really the thing you're looking for in this? Or are you just looking to make God the means to the end of making the situation easier? Does that make sense? 